So last time for our Fox 4 house call with Dr. Andy, and this morning we're talking about something that goes along with those pesky mosquitoes, West yeah. Nile virus. And you hear it all the time in the news, and kind of an interesting fact, most people get it and never even know it. Is that really That's true? That's absolutely true. Most people will never know they get it. And the people who do get a little sick from it, most of them will get symptoms of a, you know, maybe a little fever, some muscle aches, uh, and then get better in a couple of days. So what is West Nile virus, and how do you know you have it? Uh, this is a good question. Most people, as you mentioned, won't know they have it. But as the name implies, it's a virus. It's transmitted by mosquitoes between birds and humans and between humans. So like some of the other things like dengue fever, malaria, you can't get West Nile virus from another person without getting bitten by the mosquito. And if you do notice symptoms, what would those symptoms be? Usually fever, um, headache, muscle aches, fatigue. Um, in very, very rare circumstances, you can also get a severe headache and an infection around the brain that can lead to what we, what we all fear, which is paralysis and death. Um, however, the CDC estimates that since 1999, they've had about 2 to 3 million people that have come down with this. Wow, that's and a lot. It is a lot. And only about 1,100, although that's a terrible number, only about 1,100 have actually died. So um, that's a pretty good odd. So if you notice some of these symptoms, do you race the doctor? How do they know you have it? Are there tests? Well, if you notice these symptoms, again, then chances are it's not West Nile virus. So it'll, you'll hear about it on the news, but don't get too nervous about okay. it. Um, Treat it like any other viral illness. You know, take some Tylenol, Motrin, wash your hands. Uh, try not to be, uh, you know, share drinks with your. Because there's no colleagues. antibiotic for it. There's no the treatment. Virus. Exactly. There's no antibiotic for it. You treat basically with supportive measures, and there's no vaccine for it. Okay, so you just told us not to panic, but then you hear about people dying. So right. what happened that those people died and most of us don't notice it? Well, the reason you're hearing about it on the news is just this week there were another seven or nine people in South Dakota that, South Dakota that were mm -hmm. diagnosed with West Nile virus. And it's been around for nine years since it came to the United States. And every year it sort of comes, and in some years it doesn't. This year is the worst year in three years they've been really? seeing. Yeah. It's, the cases are coming earlier in the season, and uh, they're coming in much greater numbers. So that's why you're going to hear about it in the news increasingly over the next, over the rest of the summer and into the fall. Are certain people more at risk of dying from it? Is there something like the elderly and the young? Or? Exactly, older folks and younger folks, and people who are immune compromised. As we heard a couple of years ago with an organ donor who had been infected, a lot of the recipients died because those are people who had immune system problems. They're either taking drugs for chemotherapy or recently had organ transplants. So those are the same groups today that we need to worry about. All right. Some good information to know and good to know that it's nothing to panic about, at least at first. And if you have more questions about West Nile virus or any other medical topic, you can always get in touch with Dr. Andy at Dr. AOL at phc-md.com or give him a call at 694-6246. Dr. Andy, thanks so much for stopping by. My pleasure.